What's up everybody? In this video, you're going to hear from my friend Carrie and she's going to show you how to build a list of beers if you're having a, if you are a brewery, a restaurant, that kind of thing. Check her out. Hope you enjoy this video. It's PluginTut.com, youtube.com slash PluginTut. You might see more faces around the channel really trying to expand the team. Enjoy this video. Hey, I'm Carrie Dills and today I'm going to show you how to use the tapped Press for Business plugin uh, that's available for free over in the WordPress.org plugin repository. So here on the left side here, you can see the plugin that we're going to be working with. And what I wanted to do with it is use that to uh, import a menu from Untapped over into my website. So I've got my website here, it's for brewery. And so here I have a tap room page and what I wanna do here is add a list of beers. Now I don't wanna manually import these beers because I'm already using Untapped, which is sort of like Facebook for beers to manage all of uh, my, my beers. So let's go take a look at that real quickly. There's two sides to Untapped and if you're a beer enjoyer, you might already be familiar with the Untapped app uh, that lets you check in a beer, upload a photo, uh, connect with friends, etc. So this is what we're looking at here on the right side of the screen is the public view of Untapped. There's a second side though, and that is Untapped for Business. Untapped for Business lets breweries manage uh, their own beer listings for menu purposes. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now this does require a business.untapped.com account. Uh, we're going to need an API key from that. So uh, before you can use this plugin, you've got to have an account over here at business.untapped.com. And if you're working with a brewery on their website project, they should give this information to you. You don't want to create your own account. You want to log in using their account. So once logged in here, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the brewery in question, the collective brewing project. This interface isn't the best ever, but basically we've got two things that I want to look at here. And those are my two published menus. So I've got one for draft, which is going to be beers that are on tap. And we can see that here on the right. So we've got uh, a name for this section and then a list of beers currently on tap in the brewery. We've also got a bottles menu. Uh, so same thing, we've got beers on tap in the brewery and then we've also got some bottled beers available for sale. Back over here on my tap room page, I want to list both of these menus. So let's get to it with this uh, tapped press for business plugin. So from my WordPress admin, I'm going to go to plugins, add new, and then search the repository for that plugin. And it so happens that I've already got it installed and activated here on my website, uh, but that would be step one for you to do to use this plugin. The next step is to go fill in the settings. The settings are really simple. There's only two pieces of data that you need. You need the email address that's associated with this business untapped account, and then you need an API key. And let me show you where to find that API key. In this upper right hand corner here, if you click on the name of the account holder, there's a drop down menu with API access. And you can see we've got two API tokens here, a read only and a read and write. So let me show you where we're gonna add this over on uh, our WordPress site. So if we go to settings, you're gonna see a new little option over there after that plugin is activated called tapped press for business. And click on this, and because I've already got it set up, we've already got some data entered here. Uh, but first, again, the email address that's associated uh, with this business untapped account. And then I'm just gonna need the read only API key. So that's this guy. And you would paste that in there. And of course, don't forget to save your setting. So once that's done, I'm gonna head back over to this tap room page of mine. And you can see I'm logged into WordPress here as an admin because I've got this, uh, this extra menu on top. And I happen to be using the Beaver Builder plugin, uh, which is, it provides a front end page builder tool that I can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Page Builder. And that's gonna allow me to edit this taproom page. 
Now I'm just using a basic text editor here and that's where I'm going to add my menus. So if we go back over to the plugin page on wordpress.org, that's where we're gonna find the instructions for how to actually use this plugin. And for that, I'm here on the facts tab and it's a simple short code. We've got the tap to press menu short code, and then we've got this other one for events. So this, uh, this plugin can also be used to uh, pull in events, which I'm not showing you. I'm only showing you how to do the menu, but the exact same principles would apply if you want to uh, bring in events as well. So the structure for using this short code is the tapped uh, press menu, and then you need a menu ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this short code and I'm gonna come put that in my text editor. So now I need to get a menu ID, and here's how to do that over on your business untapped account. I'm gonna go back to my draft menu. Now notice something about the URL here. We've got business.untapped.com slash venue slash 1252 slash menus slash 3762. And that's the magic number that's actually the menu ID. And just to show you here, so we're on drafts right now. If I click on bottles, let's watch this URL structure. And the only thing that's gonna change is that menu ID. And here we can see it changes to 3764. So draft is 3762 and bottles is 3764. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do one. Oops, forgot that opening bracket. That first one's gonna be draft. The second one is gonna be bottles. And once I push save, something magical is gonna happen. And there it is. It's gone ahead and pulled in the list of beers from over here on the business untapped side. I'm gonna go ahead and click done and publish those changes. Now, one thing I'm a huge fan of this plugin for, well, for more than one reasons, but one thing I really like about this plugin is the fact that it imports all of this beer data with pretty much no uh, styles attached. So if we use Chrome's inspect element tool, let's go ahead and look at the source code for this. And See here, so I've got my beer list and that incorporates this entire draft list here. And then I've got a beer entry. Uh, so there's a beer entry for each beer in the menu. And within that beer entry, you can see that we've got things like uh, the, the beer logo and then the beer text, which is gonna include the name, the ABVs, the IBUs, and any description of the beer, et cetera. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna show you an easy peasy way to do this exact same thing without using the tap press for business plugin, but I'm gonna tell you why it's lame. But I do want you to know that it's out there because I played around with this when I was uh, learning how to use this plugin and learning how to incorporate an untapped menu into my site. So back over on the business.untapped site, if we go to this section called Customize All Menus, we'll see that there's something called a digital board. Now you may have been in a brewery one time or you saw this, what looked like a big TV and on it were the listings of the beers, and all the various details of the beers. Those are really cool. It makes it easy for a brewery to manage beers in one location, that location being their untapped business site, and then publish that information uh, in their brewery or on their website, wherever. So that's something that can be designed independently of your website. The digital board can be designed from directly within your untapped dashboard here. So if we click on design and happy birthday, Robbie, we can see this come up. We've got our draft menu here, the name of the beers, the various details, the sizes and the cost, etc. Now I could get an iframe. There's an iframe that's available as part of uh, this untapped interface, I could grab that iframe, dump that over into my taproom site. But the problem is it would look exactly like this digital board preview here, which is fine if that digital board looks like that in the brewery, but I don't really want it looking like that on my website. So that's why I like this plugin. I can style it independently. So in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you use the tapped press for business plug in to pull in beers from your tapped business account. Now let's say for some reason that you don't have a business 
untapped account, but you still want to bring in some beers from the quote unquote public side of untapped. There's another plugin that you can use for that, and that's called Easy Beer Lister. There's a great free version here in the wordpress.org repository. There's also an upgraded pro version with some extra bells and whistles. And when you install this plugin, what happens is it creates a custom post type for, uh, beers. And then within each beer post, you've got, of course, your, your, title, your name of your beer, your featured image, which is uh, the image for the beer, and then custom fields for all those various details of the beer. So whereas Tapped Press for Business, it's just importing the data. I'm not saving any of this beer data in my WordPress database. The Easy Beer Lister plugin, on the other hand, is going to take all of the uh, beer data from the public side of Untapped and then actually store it in my WordPress database. Depending upon your objective, this is a great option, but just beware, you can get a lot of data like this. And let me show you what I mean. So let's go back over to, I'm on the public uh, side of Untapped, and I am logged in as the collective brewing project, so I'm gonna see my beers first. But uh, I'm gonna look up a beer here called Brett Smashy. And you can see that there are five results for Brett Smashy. That means that at five different points in time, someone has checked in this beer, but each one was just a little bit different. And that's because there were different batches of the beer. So here we can see uh, a Brett Smashy with Columbus hops, another one with Galaxy hops, Simcoe hops, etc. So if I was using the Easy Beer Lister plugin to pull in this data, I would get five results, five posts for Brett Smashy. When, again, based on your use case, if I was gonna show a menu, I only want Brett Smashy to appear once. I don't need the five uh, iterations of it. So this is a great plugin, but just kind of be aware of what you're getting yourself into. Uh, you could be pulling back a lot of records, even for just a single beer, depending on how people have entered that data into Untapped. So with that, my friends, you can have awesome beer data over on Untapped, and you can pull that data into your brewery website.